He is known for his work as an American film and television actor, particularly for his collaborations with John Wayne. He is recognized for starring in notable films such as Sands of Iwo Jima, Fort Apache, and She Wore a Yellow Ribbon. His name is John Agar. In the world of American film and television, one actor stands out for his memorable performances and unique career trajectory, John George Agar Jr. Born on January 31, 1921, Agar began his journey as an actor, making a name for himself through his collaborations with the legendary John Wayne. Their films, including Sands of Iwo Jima, Fort Apache, and She Wore a Yellow Ribbon, showcased Agar's talent and charisma. As Agar's career progressed, he found himself transitioning to B-movies, where he carved out a niche for himself in the realms of science fiction, westerns, and horror. Films like Tarantula, The Mole People, and The Brain from Planet Eris showcased his versatility as an actor, and he became a recognizable face in these genres. Despite facing setbacks in his personal life, Agar's dedication and talent allowed him to continue working in the industry. In the later years of his career, Agar had the opportunity to work alongside John Wayne once again, with Wayne offering him supporting roles in several films. Additionally, Agar found success in the television industry, appearing in numerous shows throughout his career. His ability to adapt to changing trends and his unwavering passion for acting allowed him to leave a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. John George Agar Jr.'s legacy as a talented actor and his contributions to the film and television industry will forever be remembered. From his successful collaborations with John Wayne to his iconic roles in B-movies, Agar's impact on the silver screen remains undeniable. He will always be celebrated for his dedication to his craft and his ability to captivate audiences with his performances. In the early years, John Agar was just an ordinary kid growing up in Chicago, Illinois. His father worked as a meat packer, and his mother took care of the family. John attended the Harvard School for Boys and later the Lake Forest Academy, where he received his education. Despite not going to college, John had a thirst for adventure that led him down an unexpected path. When World War II broke out, John felt a duty to serve his country. In 1941, he joined the U.S. Navy Air Corps and underwent basic training in Texas. His physical fitness and dedication caught the attention of his superiors, and he was chosen to be an instructor in physical training at March Field in Riverside, California. However, fate had a different plan for John. An unfortunate turn of events occurred when John developed an ear infection that affected his balance. As a result, he was medically discharged from the Navy in 1943. But John's determination to serve never wavered. Undeterred by his setback, he enlisted in the U.S. Army Air Corps. During his time in the Army Air Corps, John held the rank of sergeant and served as a physical training instructor. His dedication to his duties and his passion for physical fitness were evident to all who worked with him. The war was a challenging time, but John's commitment never wavered, even in the face of adversity. In 1946, after the war had come to an end, John made the decision to leave the U.S. Army Air Corps. His military service had shaped him, teaching him discipline, resilience, and leadership skills that would serve him well in the years to come. Little did he know that his experiences in the military were just the beginning of an extraordinary journey that would lead him to Hollywood and make him a household name. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.